In this video, we'll talk about Enoxion lean purpura, which is IgA vasculitis. We'll talk about how they present and how to diagnose in addition to management. So HSP or IgA vasculitis is one of the most studied or most known vasculitis because we see it much more often compared to other types of vasculitis, especially in the pediatrics patients, which represent around or more than 90% of all the patient population. When do we think about it? We think about it in a pediatrics patient, of course, who have purpura in the lower extremities, who might, like their parents or themselves, mention they had upper respiratory tract infection around one to two weeks ago, whether upper respiratory infection is viral or bacterial, both can cause IgA vasculitis. Now, other symptoms or manifestations include arthralgia and arthritis, as well as abdominal pain. The patient as well might have bloody or black stool, which represents some blood present in the stool, which is common in pediatrics patients because they have intersusception associated with IgA vasculitis, while in adults, intersusception is unusual and uncommon as in pediatrics. Make sure you understand that here the purpura is palpable, as we mentioned in the physical exam video, where we talked about vasculitis causing palpable purpura, while non-palpable purpura is mainly caused by low platelets count. Now, when you do CBC, BMP, PTT, INR, the main abnormality will be or might be the creatine being elevated, because these patients can have glomerular nephritis associated with their IgA vasculitis. And the associated RBC casts as well as dysmorphic RBCs seen in the urine analysis. Otherwise, platelets, PT, PTT, INR, everything will be normal. Now the question then, do we need to do a biopsy to diagnose IgA vasculitis? And the answer is no, unless the patient has atypical presentation. And one of the most common atypical presentations or most important atypical presentations as an internist is going to be being an adult because as we mentioned earlier more than 90 percent of the patients with iga vasculitis are pediatrics patient so if you have an adult patient you suspect iga vasculitis based on the symptoms and labs then you need to do a biopsy and this biopsy can be obtained from the skin or the kidney skin is less invasive and usually is adequate not as in anca vasculitis where skin biopsy won't be reliable enough to make a diagnosis. And this is very high yield. If they're going to ask about IgA vasculitis in adults, it's going to be about the biopsy. Now let's move on and talk about the treatment. Treatment is straightforward. Usually these patients, we treat them with conservative management, more fluids, NSAIDs. If they are resistant or very severe symptoms, then we can try steroids to help improve their symptoms. And that's it for IgA vasculitis. See you in the next one.